Hello there, everybody. This is Bev here, Clerical Vision. And you can probably see I'm quite white on this side. I think it's just the way the light is from the weather. There's a window right here on my right. Um, and it's, uh, it's cloudy and it's milder as it just so happens to be. Um, and it's a, a kind of white sky with a cloud. And I think that's why could pull the curtain closed and then it gets a bit dimmer um, because I've got the big lights on. But anyway, so that's why I'm um, in a nice little glow, if you like, coming for the right. And uh, as I said, yeah, it's cloudy and it's milder. Um, so he kindly returned my box back, uh, the, the nuclear blast one. Um, I think he's put something in it. <laughs> as well but um this will be his half of the um kind of um trade slash vclt thing uh, that we spoke about a while back and he says to me he sent me a list of what uh he, he had available for trading if anything i fancied out that and he says well I, I wouldn't mind that 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 and that or whatever there was about four or five i think i says what to do is you pick whatever out of that lot and send me something and that way i won't know what it is exactly you're sending me and i think i've actually forgotten what half of this stuff was anyway so it's going to be a nice surprise um so i pre split the the thing i haven't looked in it yet so um, i'll just do that now um now i'll probably i'll find that these things are quite um tight so probably i don't know is there i'm trying to see if there's a bit of paper at the top but i can't see that so far so i'll just pull something out all right i'm going to pull something out and i'm hoping it's the top thing. Um, so I'll just. Oh, I'm feeling a bit of paper now. Here we go. So I've looked at a bit of paper. It doesn't. I'm not going to read it. It doesn't say spoilers, but I'll put it to the side. Um, I've got something here. Well, there's something else in it. it. Feels like a CD or something. Okay. Um, I'll go with this first. Um, this is the CD. Oh, hello! Oh, Prayer Mantis! Now, this is cool. Um, I was aware... Oh, and he's included Forlorn Hope. Now, Prayer Mantis, I uh, was aware, no, but not right away, um, that they have released a, a recent album, um, Prayer Mantis, because I think they only ever released the... Um, I'm just not looking down here because there's a record line in front of it. I don't know what it is. Um, uh, I think the the last thing they released was about 1980 or something. No, maybe it wasn't. It's been a while, and I think then um, this was a recent, a more recent thing. Okay, let me just open this. Up. But yes, I am interested indeed to have that. And um, he also emailed me about Forlorn Hope and asked, "Ah, oh, a beauty! It's even signed." This will be cool, um, because um, I'll finish talking about Prayer Mantis first. <laughs> yeah, this is 2018, it says. It's Frontiers, fantastic. It's a lovely album. It's on the um, uh, nice digipack where the booklet is in there. Picture CD. So yeah, that's very cool. I'm chuffed about this. Um, I, I have their, um, I don't want to go and look for it in case I see what this record is at the moment, but I have their 1980 album, um, Prey and Mantis, and I really like that. Um, so I am hoping, I haven't heard anything of the newer stuff, so I'm kind of hoping I will like this. I'm pretty sure I will. Um, but yeah, so um, lyrics, pictures of the band. That's great, Cloudy. Thank you very much. I'm well happy to get this. <coughs> So, yep, yeah, uh, and on to the forlorn hope. Now, he emailed me or messaged me and asked if I um, quite liked this one. Um, he said that the, these guys were on the mixtape that he sent, his new wave of new wave of British heavy metal stuff. 
and uh, she said, I think so, because it's a while since I had listened to the, the whole thing and um, so I dug out because I had been going along and I'd been kind of either putting a, a tick or a cross beside ones that I thought I would want to, that I quite like the sound of and this one had a tick against its song anyway and I says, oh yes, and I went and listened to it again on the, uh, I put the tape back in I says, aye, so send me that so this looks like it's a, is it an EP or a sampler or something? Um, I don't know, because it seems to be three on here, um, and it's 2018, uh, and they are British. Recorded at Whitewood Recording Studio at Liverpool, yeah. So um, definitely I am interested in these, and it's absolutely cool that it's been signed as well. So Nice, there you go. <clears throat> so I'll be giving that a wee whirl. It's quite a black plain, just a plain black um, matted finish. So brilliant, thank you very much for enclosing that as well. Um, I will be... Now let's have a look at this vinyl um, that's sitting here. Um, I've just sort of seen it as a kind of a fiery blackish back colour. So. It's um, it's um, yes. Oh, I think this is Anvil. I see Anvil there. Okay, yes. Let me see. Oh yes. I'm after some Anvil, right enough. They are one of the bands definitely on my list. Um. Because I've heard some of their songs, I um, don't own any of their stuff, so uh, yes, this is cool. Keep <laughs> keep it wet and play it loud, it says up here. This is, where are we? 1981. I wonder if this is, is it a Canadian press? I'm not sure. It might not be. It says manufactured by and then slash Fabrique Par, which is the French, uh, and it's got an Ontario address. Let me see. Oh yes, it's a double, is it? It's an actual. Yeah. Oh no, you can I think there's another. Wait, wait a minute. Right, wait. <laughs> I think that's for another album. Bear with me. So this is it. Uh. Made in Canada, it is a Canadian press, so. Attic Records? Brilliant. Fantastic, I've never actually seen that. And he's, he's put it in one of these beautiful sleeves, that is very excellent. Thank you very much, Mr. Cloudy. I am loving that. Now the next one, we've got a capital label here and it says Storm. And uh, I think, if I recall, yeah, this was the, oh, it's a promo, it's a gold stamp promo. This was one of the other ones I said I'd be interested in hearing, and here it is, Storm. Um, I've actually forgotten what he said about them, if anything, but um, I am interested to hear what these guys are like, so I am chuffed to get this as well. This feels quite a stiff cover too, so I wonder if this is a Canadian note. Ah, I printed in the US, I think this is a US press, this one. Magic. Oh I four dollars it says here. Property of Capital Records. Oh, look at that. That's an original inner, that's for sure. It's actually, I've never seen one like that. Almost like a plastic bag style carrier. Pretty cool. So that's excellent. I'm not going to faff about that in front of the camera. And yeah, so this is on the Purple Capital 1983 uh, US pressing. Yep. Fantastic. Uh, that's cool. So Storm Anvil, The Forlorn Hope, and uh, Cray and Man. That's fantastic. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Okay, now just let me get this out of the way. That is the, the thing. I just want to make sure there's no uh, paper or anything. 
Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it was too, way longer to send than it should. That's quite all right. <laughs> Mind you, you've got an extra CD as a result that I wasn't planning to send. Oh, well, that's even better. <laughs> Anvil, Hard and Heavy, their debut is pretty raw and unlike the albums that came after, this was a copy I was given by Blackmore Rules, hence the Canadian press and the heart. But I already had one and I've been looking for a good home for Excellent. Given you didn't like Raven Avengers and you if you like Anvil, I think they are pretty similar. Okay, as long as the singer's voice is maybe high pitched, I think that's really what mostly put me off them, but I've heard some Anvil and I don't think the singer from what I heard was anyway, was as um, high pitched singer. We shall see Storm, I actually bought this one in Atlanta, right, that'll be why there's the dollar thing on it, obviously. Uh, for when he was out with his work. I was in two minds about passing on because of the memories I have associated. Well, you really didn't have to, you know. Um, memories associated with the, the dig, his trip out there, obviously. But it's a bit too melodic for my taste. I'm not likely to play it again. Last time was my 50 album. So okay. I think it would be an album you might enjoy. It's also a gold stamp promo, which the Americans seem to get very excited about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, I guess it just adds an extra bit of um, nostalgic golden class of it. I don't know, yeah, um, because, you know, these were the days when, I guess, radio stations played physical records. You know? Well, that's when radio stations were radio stations. I think nowadays you just have to push a button and that's you for the day, programme done. Uh, but I digress. Praying Mantis CD I got from Jim Davies recently. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think I recall that actually. Okay. Um, but too. There we go. I've lost. Again, it's a bit too melodic rock for my taste. I gave it a few spins and I don't think I would play it. You asked me to let you know what I think about it on my video. Well, now you can make your own mind up. Cool. Awesome. I'm pretty sure Jim will be absolutely fine with that anyway. Um, no worries. Because I let him know I was passing on the raven. <laughs> um, and Forlorn Hope. Uh, yes, that track. This is the EP it came from. Uh -huh. Yes, I will. Because they were definitely one of the ones I liked. Yeah. Yeah, they have released their JB this year, it's very good, so that's cool. Feel free to better if you don't like anything. Marvellous, Andy, honestly that's fantastic. I'm really happy with all of this. I will let you know what I think of Anvil for sure. Um, as I say, that's my first, I've actually owned them, so um, <coughs> I'll definitely be... Uh, Looking forward to playing that and the storm as well. So awesome stuff! Thank you very much. Um, really, honestly, if you you didn't have to send me your copy if you wanted to to hang on to the memories and that, but um, it's not that far away from me. If you ever miss it, I can always send it back for you to cuddle. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Andy. Andy's is a channel. Um, I'm. I'm assuming most of you'll know him already. He has a fantastic channel, really informative. Um, has a great selection of musical tastes across the, the metal scene um, and not metal as well. He's into a bit of alternative and uh, I think he's got a toe in or a foot inside some of the, the 70s punk uh, Ramones and stuff like that. Um, but for those of you who don't know him yet, um, you'll find his channel link below and uh, I urge you to subscribe because it's uh, well worth a watch. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye just now.